here watching Bats's playthrough. Here, I play through requests made by the Mega Man Maker community and give my personal opinion about them. Feel free to submit your level in my topic, which you can find a link in the video description, so I can deliver an honest review of it. So, stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so I saw today that there was a, a, a big polemic uh, on the Mega Man forum, uh, Mega Man Maker forum uh, about that level, uh, which is Water Temple, made by uh, Lucas uh, Poscus. Uh, uh, so uh, I'm gonna play it. Uh, I'm gonna give my uh, live uh, review about the, about the level while uh, while playing it. So let's get going. Okay, so we have slide, we have charge, and we have firestorm and dive missiles. A water temple. Okay, so we have to find dive missiles. Okay, so oh, forget to jump there. My bad. This enemy placement here is uh, kind of what's uh, uh I'm just gonna check something. Uh, retry. <coughs> just wanna know when you land if he greets you. Okay. So as soon as you land on the pl on the platform, he's gonna shoot you. But uh, still, you do have time to react. But again, it's not a uh, Kind of a cheap uh, hidden placement there. So, oh boy. Okay. Okay. I should have wait. I can say that's it. Uh, my home fault. So, what do you have here? Uh, about visual effects. Uh, so, so far, uh, on the Helekman's uh, tiles. It's kind of poor. Oh, okay, so we have bullets on uh, both sides. I feel like I'm being uh, spammed with uh, enemies here. <laughs> okay, so do you see that hole here? So I was wondering uh, why did why did the, the world is uh, missing water here? So I know I know why now. Um, this doesn't offer uh, a good challenge to a player. Uh, in my opinion, it's just uh, uh, a bad uh, <laughs> a bad challenge there. Okay, so here. I just want to know how this enemy is going to react. What's the, pur the purpose? Whoops. Just wanted to know what was the purpose of... Where am I? Okay, well, I'm not at checkpoint. What's the purpose of that enemy? Oh boy, okay. So, use this enemy. So, uh, as some... Uh, other makers uh, pointed out on the forum. Be sure to uh, test your level and see how everything reacts uh, during the playthrough. Because here it doesn't. Uh, this and me is, is, is very useless. Uh, doesn't offer any threat. So uh, be sure to check on that before releasing the level. Okay, so here reminds us of. Uh, Mario Bros. Uh, castle at the end of the level. Oh, we have a new tile. Okay, so do I have to go there? No. And I'm being spammed with bullets. Okay. I'm just gonna kill that guy. Okay. 
So, uh, try to inform yourself about uh, one with teleporters. Uh, since we don't have to backtrack or then it leads to uh, any other route, uh, I don't see the point of having a two way teleporters. So, inform yourself about that. Mm, same here with uh, the frog enemy. Be sure to check on that. Oh wow, okay. So, enemy spam. This is uh, rarely uh, a good thing to put in a level. So much enemy spam. Nope. Okay. So, more challenge here. As you see, I have uh, a safe spot here. Nothing biggie. Um, okay. There's a thing that I want to uh, point you out. Uh, as as you progress during your level, uh, there's uh, no connection between uh, each areas uh, that you go into. So uh, usually, uh, a level in the, in Mega Man offers uh, uh, a good atmosphere. It's uh, they have a theme that was a word I was searching. Sorry for that. Uh, they have a theme uh, here. Uh, you said it was a uh, water temple. So um, uh, the players uh, wish to see an atmosphere around that theme, uh, which doesn't uh, it doesn't match uh, here uh, in that section. So. Do something that you want, uh, that you might have to look into. Uh, okay, so there's a key there. So, did I miss something? No, no. Okay, dive missiles, which we have freely, and here we have a checkpoint with a big guy in your in our face. So if you die and you come back here. You're greet you're greeted by this fucker which is not a good thing. Oh boy. Again, more enemy spams. So here you did uh, put uh, a one with teleporter, so I wonder why you didn't put it uh, um, on the first time that you use a teleporter. That's a question. So time bomb, these 7 time bombs are just a time wasting since you don't have any enemy or uh, other hazards. Okay, so we got that, we're back here. Come on, come back crash lift. Come back here, come on baby, come back. Okay. So use a valat of uh, checkpoints. You give uh, a lot of uh, help to the player here. So first thing that we see, uh, spring and uh, these platforms here. Uh, this weapon block uh, serves no purpose since uh, it's not an optional uh, weapon you give it uh, to us so um, it's a potential uh, soft lock here since uh, you might not don't, you, you might not have weapon energy left uh, if you use uh, dive missiles uh, as soon as you uh, as you acquire it so something that you might uh, look into uh, I think there is something missing here. Just there. There's a tile missing. And again, enemy spam, enemy spam uh, near a checkpoint is uh, rarely a good idea. So, as soon as you enter the room, you're in face of a big guy. So, you don't have time to. Uh, the player doesn't have time to. Uh, 
to uh, know his whereabouts, know uh, just to see uh, what what is about to face since he's uh, already thrown into a fight, and since the big guy uh, is always chasing the player, uh, you don't have any time to uh, react properly. Oh, where's the transition here? So again, another checkpoint. So power muscler. No, fuck you. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of rushing myself. Again? Okay, so Poor usage of uh, of checkpoints, and plain bubble man fight. Okay. Okay, kid. So. Uh, Ah, where to start? It, it, it's okay. Uh, we can say that you know how to build a level. It's not. Uh, it's not something that doesn't fit. Uh, uh, doesn't that does not fit together. Um, at least it's uh, it's a beatable level, and it's not a casual one. So uh, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, uh, visuals are pretty bland, in my opinion. Uh, try to mix some tiles together just to uh, create some effects. Uh, there are some uh, tiles that uh, turn into pipes and things like that. Uh, you can always use uh, crash lift uh, tubes as uh, part of your uh, your uh, your visuals. Um, like I said during the playthrough, when you choose a name uh, of your level, try to stick to the theme while building it. In that case here, I don't feel myself uh, being into a water temple at all. Uh, what could have been good to do is just to make a first person portion of your level uh, that is outside which is the way that's going to lead uh, us to uh, the water temple and the rest of the level into that uh, water temple uh, with uh, parts uh, underwater uh, others not but again something that uh, something that fits uh, well together here um, we don't have that uh, that feeling uh, so uh, it's in my opinion I felt being in uh, various uh, different uh, level uh, in the same one uh, which uh, kinds of lost uh, uh, the atmosphere uh, it doesn't uh, drag the player into into a level uh, by doing so um, so yeah so tiles visuals uh, theme um, weapon usage um, you throw uh, dive missiles and firestorm to the player uh, other than spamming it to the various enemies that we see during the level uh, I don't see the the use of them at all uh, and try to think that when you put an optional weapon in your uh, in your level um, try to make a challenge around it uh, try to make it optional not uh, uh, linear optional um, in, her, in your case here you just uh, go through a door and you, you uh, came uh, in front of the dive missiles so I don't see why you didn't uh, give it to the player as soon as your level started because uh, it's not that uh, it's not an optional weapon in my uh, in my words um, so uh, by continuing on that um, uh, just try to re revise your uh, weapon block uh, of the dive missile that you put uh, into uh, in your level 
which is on a main path and there's no uh, weapon energy dispenser uh, nearby so there's a potential soft lock there um, so we got weapons, we got that uh, enemies, uh, yes uh, big part here um, we feel uh, being spammed a lot uh, during some uh, uh, during some portions of your level uh, there's two things going on at the same time uh, I refer at the part where they are uh, uh, a lot of bullets uh, coming on both sides uh, a big eye uh, right in your face as soon as you enter a room uh, and things like that so uh, keep in mind that when building a Mega Man level and by doing so I refer to you to the uh, original Mega Man games uh, when you enter a room you usually have uh, at least uh, three four seconds uh, to see your surroundings before acting uh, or, be, or before being forced uh, to act um, so keep in mind that being hit in a Mega Man level it's not uh, it's always on the player's fault and not because he's being uh, uh, he's being cornered uh, as soon as he uh, gets into a screen or because uh, there's an enemy uh, right in his face uh, and don't have the time to uh, maneuver uh, around it. so um, there's always uh, a possibility to do a no hit run uh, in a level. In years, uh, I barely see uh, how we're gonna do it since um, uh, uh, obviously I know how we can do it, but uh, uh, we have to know well your level and we have to spam uh, special weapons as soon as we enter a screen, uh, which is not a good thing. So, yeah. Uh, Oh, last thing, boss fight. Uh, it's a pretty bland, uh, pretty bland and boring uh, bubble man uh, fight. It's even easier than uh, than in the original Mega Man uh, 2 uh, game. Uh, we don't have any spikes on the ceiling, so I don't see the the, <laughs> the dangerosity uh, around that fight. Uh, even since the the, the, the and the, uh, the AI of uh, Mobile Man is kind of easy to uh, to learn. His pattern is rather uh, simplistic, so uh, your fight is kind of boring. So yeah, so don't take that review uh, too much uh, harsh. But uh, it's I think in my opinion it's a fair and square review. Uh, I'm gonna see. Uh, in the, the editor some things okay so we're back so let's see okay so we come here okay So here, uh, when you use uh, gimmicks in your stage, try to uh, try to uh, introduce them safely to the player uh, at the first time that we see them. So here, let's see, let's give uh, an example. Maybe you should have done something like that. So if the players, if the player uh, screw is jump with a Yoku. The first Yoku that he sees uh, he doesn't kill himself but the other one here are more dangerous so uh, you spice up the challenge here so as you enter you shoot her, but it's okay so here you get uh, fucked on the both sides by these rockets So here, uh, if you consider uh, visuals and you know about uh, the water gravity, what you could have done here just to drag this Yoku down here and uh, 
put more water in here. You have the same thing and it's better for the eye. Same thing here. There we go. I fixed it. If you want to use that enemy here, you know, uh, this enemy is... Uh, um sorry there's that fucking autosave i'm gonna turn it down after that come on you dumb fuck okay you could have done something like that here what I meant okay so we have that here come on you big fuck So you could have done something like that. Here, and just finish your water here. So, I'm gonna give you an example of what I was uh, trying to show you. So at least you're gonna make that enemy uh, more dangerous. So. So we have to be careful, okay? Because there's an explosion coming up. So I'm gonna show you if you're not careful what kind of shit this can be. So you see? Boom! So that's an example here. Uh, okay, so you have that here. That I know how. Uh, I know that you know how to use uh, one with teleporters, so I'm not gonna show it to you since you've put it uh, uh, after any level. So get rid of that. So here we are underwater. So this part is pretty messed up in my opinion. Okay, uh, no, uh, this leads us here. So, same thing here, get rid of that teleporter. So, get down, you know, there's the shooter. I uh, just want to see something. Okay, at least he doesn't, uh, you don't get shot by the shot man. Okay, so this frog here, maybe put it down. Let's see where it leads us. Okay, okay. Okay, so you see, just by lowering, lowering him, uh, the frogs doesn't uh, get thrown uh, out of the screen. So that's how you... Uh, that's how you modify your enemy placement to uh, make them uh, work properly. So we're gonna continue. That screen is pretty bad. Uh, we have four same guy here. 
with a checkpoint uh, between the two of them so as soon as a player is gonna be back he's gonna get it I'm pretty sure of it so let's make a test yep you don't have time to react because uh, yeah even if you hit it you're gonna get it and if you hit him ah that's pretty bad so the only way out is just to know that you're gonna be fucked and use firestorm okay so bad the thing there so we're here a little bit challenge that place so we get the uh, non not optional uh, dive missile okay so same thing as the Yakuza the first one at least put something down here so it's gonna be safer for the player he's gonna know what he's gonna face these one uh, I'm sorry seventh con down uh, I don't see the point since there is nothing uh, dangerous for the player here there is no challenges to so it's just a fucking waste of time in my opinion <coughs> so you got the key you're thrown back Here, so I don't see the point because you sh could just make it linear and not backtracking because it's not uh, it's not a backtrack in my opinion. So you get here, okay. So you see that's that's when we when we are talking about a uh, good gimmick introduction. That's one good example here because if you missed. If you mess uh, something with these gimmicks, you're not gonna get killed. That's the soft lock that I was talking about. If you don't get here with uh, energy left for your death missile, you're gonna be fucked. And you're uh, forced to uh, load back to the last checkpoint, which can be frustrating. Here, okay, so the missing tile was for that fucker. But you could have just it, just put it here. I'm pretty sure of it. So let's make a test. And you see, so these fuckers, you just have to put it uh, somewhere in the screen, and they're gonna uh, spam spam automatically at the beginning of it. Okay. That's this guy here doesn't belong here. Shitty emplacement. So let's count it. You have a checkpoint here. So we have one, two, two screens, and then on the third screen you have another checkpoint, which is not necessary. So two, uh, what is, okay. So another checkpoint here, just before the, 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 the boss fight. Uh, but again, it's, uh, it's too close. Uh, and if you want to put uh, a checkpoint between, uh, just before a boss fight, just do a regular uh, bus co uh, corridor at least so I'm pretty sure that you wanted to do a kind of Mega Man 1 like uh, uh, corridor to the bus because it seems like that so here you're going to that boring fight so 
just with bubble man you could have put things like that just to spice up uh, you can always lower the ceiling ah, just with like that we're gonna try that out okay So you see, just by lowering lowering uh, the ceiling and uh, putting different heights uh, on the floor, uh, you've got yourself a more difficult fight since you have to planify your movement with uh, Bubble Man's uh, behavior. So that's just an example. about that so hope that you uh, learned some th uh, tricks or things uh, during that uh, playthrough so uh, for the rest of you guys hope that you enjoyed it I uh, just wanted to uh, add my uh, my two cents uh, with uh, all that polemic uh, around that level so uh, see you soon. Uh, for your information guys, uh, I'm still working on the, the thing of uh, Request and Represent 5, Episode 5. Uh, it takes me more time than usual because uh, I have uh, many things happening uh, right now in my life. So, uh, I'm sorry about the delay, but uh, I'm gonna get uh, back uh, soon uh, real quick. So, see you guys.